This is question 15. In part A, we're asked to expand and simplify 2x plus 1, x minus 3, x plus 5. So what we're really being asked to do here is we're being asked to multiply three quantities. And whenever we multiply three quantities, if we think about numbers, we start by multiplying the first two first, and then we take our answer to that and multiply it by the third. And it's no different with algebra either. So what we're going to deal with here, to begin with, is we're going to start by multiplying 2x plus 1 by x minus 3. So the way that I like to do this is by setting out a grid. And I'm going to multiply 2x plus 1. And I'm going to multiply that by x minus 3. So x multiplied by 2x gives me 2x squared x multiplied by 1 gives me x, negative 3 multiplied by 2x gives me minus 6x, and then negative 3 multiplied by 1 gives me minus 3. So collecting this together, that's going to give me 2x squared, and then I've got plus x minus 6x, so that's going to give me minus 5x, minus 3. So I've multiplied 2x plus 1 and x minus 3 together and it's given me 2x squared minus 5x minus 3. Now I'm going to take that answer and I'm going to multiply it by x plus 5. So again I'm going to use a grid to do this. And Along the top, I'm going to have 2x squared minus 5x minus 3. And I'm going to be multiplying that by x plus 5. So again, working this out multiplying each of these terms by each other x multiplied by 2x squared will give me 2x cubed x multiplied by negative 5x will give me negative 5x squared then x multiplied by negative 3 will give me negative 3x 5 multiplied by 2x squared will give me 10x squared. Five multiplied by negative 5x will give me minus 25x. And then the last one, 5 multiplied by negative 3 will give me minus 15. So the last thing to do is to simplify this. This is going to give me 2x cubed and then 10x squared minus 5x squared. That's going to give me plus 5x squared. Then I've got negative 25x minus 3x. That's going to give me minus 28x. And then finally, that minus 15 by itself. So final answer for 15 part A is going to be 2x cubed plus 5x squared minus 28x minus 15. For part B, I'm asked to make R the subject of the formula. So I've got 5R plus 1 is equal to, and I'm just going to expand this bracket. So that gives me AM plus AR. Now, when I'm making R the subject of the formula, what that means is I want to have R on its own on one side of the equal sign. So, in order to do this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all of the A, uh, sorry, all of the terms with R in them, so AR and 5R, and we're going to get those on one side of the equal sign, and I'm going to have everything else on the other side. So, I'm going to subtract AR and subtract 1 from both sides and that will give me 5 R minus AR 
is equal to AM minus 1. Then, from here, what I need to do is, well, I want to end up with a situation where I've got R is equal to something. So, what I can see here is that I can't simplify 5R minus AR, but I need to somehow get that R on its own. And the way that I can do this is I can factor out the R from both of those terms. So I can say that this is R bracket 5 minus A and that that is equal to A M minus 1. So I've just factorised 5R minus AR. And then all that's left me to do, now what I'm saying is R multiplied by 5 minus A is equal to AM minus 1. So that means that R will be equal to AM minus 1 divided by 5 minus A. So just dividing both sides by 5 minus A. And that leaves me with a final answer of R is equal to AM minus 1 over 5 minus 8.